this is the road from the town of Viborg in Russia uh, to the town of Imatra. It is quite nice road. The environment is also beautiful Karelian, let's say like that. And this is the interesting part. I am right now in a van, not a minivan, van. It's a 10-seater van. I am absolutely alone here. And I had to buy all the tickets for all the seats if I wanted to go from Russia to Finland. Because as you know, there is no flights between Europe and Russia. There is only actually two flights, uh, both by Air Serbia from Belgrade, one to St. Petersburg and another to Moscow. So if you want to travel to, for instance, Finland, as I am now traveling, because I need to do a couple of stories there, you need to find alternative modes of transportation. There are some buses, uh, but most of them are fully booked for weeks in advance. There was a couple of train lines between Helsinki and St. Petersburg. Both of those are now cut off because of the sanctions for over a year now. So this is one of the rare modes and uh, it was very difficult to find a company which will take me and drive me with my equipment from St. Petersburg to Finland, for, in this case to the town of Imatra, the border town of Imatra. Uh, it is roughly around four hours ride and in five million population of St. Petersburg full with various companies, I found or actually we found only one which were happy to take me from St. Petersburg to Finland. And the price tag is mind-blowing. But anyway, so we are continuing our journey to the town of Imatra, where we are going to film a story about the Finns building a border wall with Russia.